Dad just got a ticket. There's a policeman behind him. It's opener of the muzzleloader hunt, and I have not shot in a muzzleloader yet. Actually, I haven't shot in a muzzleloader since fifth grade. Um, but I know how to do it. But we'll figure this out, see if I can actually hit the broadside of a barn. Because I gotta go kill me a deer this year. So this gun is actually my dad's, and I've actually, my co his cousin borrowed it from him for like 20, 25 years so uh, basically I've never seen this gun until like two years ago and he, my dad's like oh yeah I have this gun do you give it back to me so I told my dad I was gonna borrow it for the next 25 years so hopefully I can use this gun for a while so uh, anyway it's a pretty old gun it's a 50 cal muzzle loader pretty excited to shoot this bad boy today and um, anyway we'll give it a shot so I'm watching the two boys. Sharice is at home with the kids, teaching the older ones. Today they're doing their homeschool lessons. So I have to watch the kids. So what I do, shoot gun. Just make sure the barrels kind of clean you know this year I'm really not going for a trophy deer I'm really just going for a meat deer so I want to find the smallest antlers possible last year I got my trophy this year I'm going for the meat because last year's meat was a little gamey my wife and kids didn't really like it so I'm gonna try to go for some veal deer and uh, get a little baby That's about 40 yards so they say if you can hit a paper plate it's about this big about 40 50 yards you're good enough because that's about the kill zone of a deer so yeah let's do it all right Ephraim come sit down figured it wouldn't be good if you ran in front of the gun or something while I was shooting so I'm buckling him up it's like that you good good so I've loaded it with uh, two plugs of powder and put the bullet in on top and ramrodded it down. Now it's ready to put the musket cap on and ready to fire. So let's see how this thing goes. I bought the wrong size of musket caps. Duh! So I bought musket caps again. I did, I hunted muzzleloader like three years ago, but I never shot it. And I did the same thing, I got musket caps. But I need percussion caps. So, called a friend, he didn't answer. I think he has some, but Sportsman's Warehouse has some in stock. So I'm gonna go get them right now. Well, long story short, went to Sportsman's, got the percussion caps, but the guy was like, you can't use those powders on that gun, you have to use this, the actual powder where you pour it in. So anyway, I spent like a ton of money to get all the stuff, and then I couldn't get the bullet out that I already put in. So, anyway, I just tried firing it and it worked. So, I've had one shot so far. Let's get it off another one, see if I can actually hit the side of a barn now. Uh-oh, leave him on. You gotta leave these on, bud. It's loud. It's loud. It's gonna hurt your ears. Yeah, I'll have to put you in the car. Here, put them on like daddy. See, look, daddy's wearing them. Hey, you took them off. Great. Let's see if I hit anything. Woo, look at that, that's a dead deer, baby. That is one dead deer. 
Well, it looks like I can hit a broadside of a barn. That's good. 50 yards. Open sights, not too bad. All right, we are off to Steven's muzzleloader hunt. Here he is. Da, 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 da. Head out to Genola. Yeah, we're gonna get, got my my hunting guide, KJ. He's gonna take us and show us uh, where we can kill a deer. All right, we got the expert. He knows where all the good deer are. Oh yes. All the two points, just what we want. Daddy and him have a way bigger nose than you, Mom. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Usually like smaller, but uh, and uh, I got smaller than mine. Yeah. And there's is way bigger than those. I think his is the biggest. Dad just got a ticket. There's a policeman behind him. This is our first ticket. Hi. Your driver's license, registration, yes. insurance. I, I do have a, How do you get just a going ticket? to shoot a deer, so I do have a gun in the back, but. Uh, uh, what do you know why I stopped you? Uh, don't. Are you in a hurry to get that deer? Uh, how fast are I going? 44. Really? The speed limit was 30. Really? I didn't, yeah, I didn't know how fast it was. Hi, uh, anything to say, honey? Son of a gun! Why do we have to get a ticket? Hey! Uh, uh, what? Because I haven't lost my job. Last time I got I ran a stop. Well you really so. didn't know what the speed is. I would assume it was forty on the street. I, I thought it was forty. Ask where I posted sign is. I've never seen a sign yeah. in Genoa. Man, yeah. policemen are nice, huh? But they caught us, so not really. Well they're still nice. Daddy was going too fast. One shot but how? Well, he, he's got to make sure kids on the street stay safe. So, we didn't know what, we were, what the speed limit was, though. But you just remember that policemen are nice. Don't we, don't we have a ticket? Do we have to get a ticket? So it's not a red ticket, it's just a like ticket. 30 minutes. And oh, we might see it. it's a piece of paper that makes you have to pay money. What do you think yeah. about that? A ton, all, like all of Daddy's money that he makes. Dad, are they gonna take all your money? All of it. <laughs> really? Are you teasing, Dad? <laughs> this is seriously the first ticket I've witnessed in our married life. I've actually never got a ticket. Why do they? Drive slow. Take Mama. care. Stay buffed up. Awesome. Thank you, Officer. Right, you too. Uh, Daddy. Do we have to use all the money that we have, even my money? What was that, Marina? Do we have to even use my money? We got it um, I never get tickets. Steve, Marina asked you a very good question. All of your money, Marina? Yeah, because you no. made me speed. Steven! What? Be nice! No. She's really worried back here. Oh. Mama! No, Marina. <laughs> He just gave Dad a warning. He saw your cute little face. No ticket. No ticket. He saw your cute face and he's like, I can't give this dad a ticket. He's got a cute little daughter. I can't believe you get off the hook again. Dude, I got off the hook again. <laughs> he's going to watch this YouTube video and he's going to be like, oh, I'm going to get that show again. <laughs> so last time, last time I got pulled over, I rolled the stop sign. Didn't come to a complete stop. Anyway, so the police officer handed me the ticket and I just lost my job. Well, I kind of quit, but anyway, I told him, I was like, oh, this is the last thing I need right now. I just lost my job. You and sound he, like such a dishonest took, dude. No, I was totally, it was totally legit. I lost my job that week. Okay. That week. It was really? when I saw walking bathtubs. So he pulled it out of my hand and ripped it and said, don't worry about it. I was like, <laughs> oh, dude, I should, I seriously have like a record for getting pulled over all the time, but never getting tickets. Steve's got the personality that he gets in trouble all the time. Oh, there is one ticket you got with us. What? We weren't married. We were all dating the on tickets. the boat because we didn't have count. enough life jackets in the boat for every adult. That was, was that for me or was that for the group? 
That was you because you were the driver. Uh, I think we all helped pay for it though. So later we all split the ticket, we all paid for it. And I had to get the money from Sharice because I was buying our, our engagement ring and I needed the extra cash. <laughs> I have plenty. So I just realized the video didn't really have a good ending. So to tell you what happened, we uh, went hunting and we shot at a doe because KJ had a doe permit but he missed and we forgot binoculars anyway it got dark and we didn't get a we didn't get a buck that night but at least we got off the hook for getting us for not getting a speeding ticket it's a really nice cop appreciate him not giving me a speeding ticket anyway make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, check out some of our other videos and we've got some epic videos coming up so stay tuned